What is going on guys? Today we're going to talk about amiodarone. We're going to do a very brief overview, a very high level overview, because this is something that uh, you may not give a ton unless you're working in an ICU or you're working with patients or perhaps during ACLS. But we do need to understand just the very basics of it. So amiodarone, its trade name is Cordarone. Okay. The indication for it is for um, cardiac arrhythmias. Okay. It can be used for atrial and ventricular arrhythmias. A lot of times what you'll see it given for is for AFib. And then you may also see it given during ACLS for VFib or VTAC and can be given as a single dose for VFib or VTAC. All right. So what do we need to know about this? What we need to know about it is therapeutic class is antiarrhythmic class three. Okay. So potassium channel blocker. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually work during the third phase of the cardiac cycle. Okay, so by doing this, what it's going to do is it's going to prolong action potential. It's going to prolong phase three, and it's going to make the heart, by doing this, by prolonging action potential, it's going to actually make the heart more resistant to arrhythmias. Okay, so so basically what that means is it's going to help the heart and prevent the heart from experiencing these arrhythmias by prolonging that action potential. Okay, it also inhibits adrenergic stimulation, slows the rate, decreases peripheral vascular resistance, and causes vasodilation. Okay, so now that we understand kind of what it does, and again, so just remember what it's really going to do is it's going to be used as an antiarrhythmic, okay? A lot of times for AFib and then for ventricular arrhythmias, uh, and especially during uh, ACLS protocol for VFib, VTAC. Okay, so some of the things we need to keep in mind here. One thing we need to keep in mind is it can increase risk for QT prolongation. Okay, so if we're if we're increasing the the action potential, there is a risk that we can lead to QT prolongation. We need to monitor our EKG continuously while the patient is on therapy. Okay, we need to be monitoring is the is the patient coming out of their arrhythmia? Is the is the AFib controlled? Uh, did we correct the VFib or the VTAC? We need to also monitor and check doses with the second nurse, okay? Before we start a drip of amiodarone or before we give a IV push during ACLS, we really need to monitor and make sure we're giving the right dose, okay? That we don't give too much or that we're not giving enough. Some other things you really want to keep in mind is that it can actually lead to ARDS, pulmonary toxicity, CHF, bradycardia, and hypotension. Remember, we're causing this vasodilation, we're slowing the rate, and so we can lead to uh, bradycardia and then we can lead to vasodilation. Okay, so if you are sending a patient home and they're taking a dose of amiodarone at home, one thing you need to teach them is you need to teach them to monitor their pulse and report any abnormalities, okay? We need to make sure they understand why they're taking this amiodarone, what the purpose of it is, and then to report anything out of normal with it. So those are really the biggest things you need to keep in mind. Again, that's a very high level overview. If you want to learn more about amiodarone, I'd really suggest uh, getting on ACLS protocol and a very good book that talks about it a lot is ICU Book by Dr. Marino. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast, brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to MedMasterCourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. MedMaster course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology. Never guess a med again. Go to MedMasterCourse.com. Coupon code PODCAST. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.